Day two starts now. All right, so we stopped for some coffee and I, uh, I realized not only do I need coffee for now, but I need coffee for tomorrow morning. So I brought this jar. I'm gonna pick some up here for pour overs in Oregon and in Washington when we get up there. Um, hopefully have some hot coffee on the beach in the morning. So these are the, uh, the cousins that we stopped, oh, yeah. stopped to visit. We're gonna grab a, grab a bite right now because we are starving and then hit the road. What's up, Tito? Say hi. You like it? What are you drinking? What's in here? Hot chocolate. I remember you guys used to run around without shoes. So I used to run around without shoes. And then you used to always get cut off. No. Thank you for saving me. Give her a heist. Oh, potatoes. Oh, potatoes. What did you guys do? Last night, we got in late. We got in like 8.30 last night. Now we're headed north. Mom would be like, don't get any ideas. <laughs> you ready to head out of here? We got a lot of driving to do today. Like, a lot of driving to do today. <laughs> My sandals got stolen in Mexico like three months ago. So now I've been forced to get them because I need to shower. We're good to go. Ready to skedaddle, kiddo? Gotta double check, got a wallet. Got the retainers. Yeah, don't forget anything. Bone. You got it all? Is that it? That's <laughs> everything? So. Thankfully, we weren't too far away. We had to turn around and come back to my aunt's house and pick up uh, Michaela's retainers. We just met up with uh, another cousin real quick before we left. Everyone, I'm sorry we couldn't stay later. We have got a, uh, a loose plan to stick to, but a plan nonetheless. Thank you to my aunts and cousins and everyone who's uh, catered to us and you know made it feel like home. We appreciate you guys and we'll see you soon. Uh, but now, Oregon. from where we're supposed to be camping tonight. We've just been like stopping and taking photos the entire time. Michaela's been a super trooper in letting me snap her shots. Only problem is a lot of things out here close by 10, so we have to stop and grab some groceries right now. That's why we're here. What do you feel like eating tonight? I don't care. <laughs> All right, follow me. We got Pringles, snackies. Where is the cup of noodles? Yeah. Okay, following you. We call this the uh, Gizmo Special. Shout out to Ruben, because uh, he's uh, shown me how to make the cheapest and tastiest backpacking food. Okay, okay, well, we're gonna need a cup of noodle. Actually, not even cup of noodle. We're gonna need like ramen, like in the packet. Uh, then maybe down here. There we go. Grab your, grab your favorite flavor right here. Whatever you feel like. We got chicken, we got beef. <laughs> now you're camping. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a sponsor, please? <laughs> A mistake I see a lot of people do 
or make. Don't heat your jet boil up before you have water in it. Then you start to warp them and that's just no good. These things get super hot, super quick. Hence the name, jet boil. But yeah, this thing comes in super handy for those of you who are wondering what this is. Uh, it's a small little isopropane, uh, isobutane propane, some sort of mixture. We put this contraption that jet boil makes on top of uh, their fuel and it gets the water really hot, really quick for making freeze dried foods or even in this morning when we're gonna make some nice hot coffee. Plans have changed a little bit. Michaela and I have decided that rather than camping again another night, we're gonna head to the city of Seattle. I've already pre-booked us a room. <laughs> She's super excited. She's a huge Grey's Anatomy fan, but don't tell her there's no Grey's Sloan Memorial. Um, so we're actually headed up there right now. We're gonna get cleaned up. Can't wait for you guys to join us on the way. Thanks.